territorial compromise with Syria. Would that include dismantling settlements in the Golan Heights? I never believed that the purpose of the Zionist movement, no doubt since Israel was established as a country, that we will, be, will build Jewish settlements under foreign sovereignty. Therefore, as it happened in the Sinai, whatever areas that we will decide for peace to vacate, I believe I will not ask the Israeli settlers to, to stay there. I don't feel that it will be res responsible on the part of Israel to tell Israelis live there under Arab sovereignty. Would that include settlements in the West Bank, possibly? At the present, as you know, in the Declaration of Principle that we signed with the PLO, we agreed and signed that all the settlements will stay where they are. What I said was a matter of principle that was brought up as a result of the last few months. To what extent it will be advisable to vacate settlements because of security reasons, mainly in the Gaza Strip, in the West Bank. And I made it clear that my uh, guidelines of policy is by no means to, to vacate settlement because of security considerations. Once we we'll reach an agreement about peace treaty with an Arab country or with some uh, Arab uh, factor, then the issue can be brought up. I feel a lot of that. Lobba la sot shalom itat.